counterbalance. The term counterbalance is used to describe the act of offsetting or balancing something by applying an equal force or weight in the opposite direction. It is commonly used in various contexts, including physics, engineering, and even in everyday language. In physics and engineering, counterbalance refers to a mechanism or weight that is used to balance or stabilize an object or system. It is often employed to prevent tipping, overturning, or excessive movement. For instance, a counterbalance is commonly used in construction cranes to keep the crane stable while lifting heavy loads. The weight on one side of the crane counteracts the weight of the load being lifted, ensuring that the crane remains balanced. In everyday language, the term counterbalance can be used metaphorically to describe the act of offsetting or compensating for something. It implies the idea of achieving a balance or equilibrium by opposing or negating a particular force or influence. Here are a few examples. 1. In relationships, compromise often serves as a counterbalance to conflicting interests. Each partner gives up something to maintain a harmonious balance. 2. In a democratic system, the separation of powers acts as a counterbalance to prevent any one branch of government from becoming too powerful. The judicial branch can check the power of the executive and legislative branches, ensuring a balance of power. 3. In a financial context, diversifying one's investment portfolio is a way to counterbalance the risks associated with putting all eggs in one basket. By investing in a variety of assets, one can offset potential losses from one investment with gains from another. 4. In sports, coaches often make strategic substitutions to counterbalance the strengths or tactics of the opposing team. For example, in basketball, a coach may bring in a taller player to counterbalance the height advantage of the opponent's center. In summary, Counterbalance refers to the act of offsetting or balancing something by applying an equal and opposite force or weight. It can be used in various contexts, including physics, engineering, and everyday language, to describe the concept of achieving equilibrium or compensating for a particular force or influence.